Well hi folks, on this glorious Saturday afternoon, it's going to get really really hot So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do some harvesting, a bit more planting I'm going to harvest one of the one of the outdoor container pots I'm going to plant some more lettuce in there I've got some cauliflowers ready, so I'll pull, some, pull one of those up, see what they're like Harvest a few courgettes See if we've got any French beans on yet And anything else that takes me fancy that's ready so we'll get on and we'll just start off by planting these uh, planting this third lot of lettuce out and then we'll get on to some harvesting all right then, folks well yet again got the old varieties of multi-green mix which is red and green little gem lettuce and these are the ones called which i forget again concord no can can sorry so i prepared this bed last night this is the ones i had me my first lot of, uh, of lettuces growing in so I removed all the ones that had gone to seed and bolted a bit just giving it a bit of a rake over, added a bit more blood fish and bone and because these are in little 40 seed trays I've just got a little dibber that's the same size it's not probably ideal sort of weather to be planting them out because it's going to get ridiculously hot probably the hottest it's ever been in England in the next two or three days but we'll see They've got a, they should have a decent set of roots on so if I give them a good watering in now as you can see they've got a good set of roots on just going to plonk those in couldn't be easier just firm it in slightly and then just make sure that they're watered well every night and then if I'm up during the day I'll just give them a good old watering during the day as well make sure they don't dry out but like I said they've got a good set of roots on so at least if I can just keep the root ball moist it's not going to be any hotter outside than it's been in the in the little polytunnel so and they've stood up in the polytunnel so they should be okay so yeah we're on to the third lot of lettuce I've just sown my fourth lot might be a bit uh, hopeful with those but you never know if they're ready to go out in about three weeks that's August and we get an Indian summer, should have a fourth crop of lettuce, so yeah, we'll just get on, get these finished, show you what they look like, and then we'll get on and harvest a few bits and pieces. Well, right then, folks, that's 23 more lettuces planted. I'll give them a really good soaking in later. I can't find my rows yet for me for me watering can, but uh, that's them in. So we'll go and move on to the old spuds in pots outside and see if we can get a decent crop out of those should it should maybe now because they've had flowers on for a fortnight so we'll just get this set up and we'll pull one of those out well right then folks gonna pull one of these the first of the container early potatoes out so i'm just going to chop the chop the tops off first make it easier to get them out interesting to see what how moist the soil is because I've been watering over good nearly a gallon a day in this hot weather so it'll be interesting to see if I'm doing it doing it right that's that one so there we go right Get it lifted out and tipped out. Oh, interested to see how far the root, if the roots have come out of the bottom even as well. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you that. You can see all the roots that have come out of the, the bottom of the pot, which goes to show you that they've been getting into the soil below, so therefore having a bit of an added bonus from the soil below. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to tip them out on this stuff, at least with this stuff I can just Sweep it up after. Let's have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. They're a little bit small, but gee whiz. Let's break into this. Oh, folks. This is going to be absolutely bonkers. Let's make sure this is in shot. Wow. 
soil is just moist so obviously perfect they're a little bit no they're not they're actually perfect to be honest I've never seen that I've never seen as many as that just look wait till you see this <laughs> look at it look at it three seed potatoes in a 30 litre pot Shake them out. Oh, this is silly. This is silly. So they obviously like this compost, which I said at the start was rubbish compost, but it doesn't matter. It's very loose, but therefore it's very well aerated which is what any plant needs, a bit of air. It's got added John Innes compost in it, which is that's like a, a loam based, soil based compost. So that'll have some proper nutrients and minerals in it, as opposed to just the chemical stuff. Wow, there's more, look at it. It's just coming, just keeps coming. Right, seed potatoes, one, two. Another proper potato. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I do like growing potatoes in pots. You haven't got a clue what's in there. And then you tip them out. I'm still, and I'm still amazed. Look, it's just more and more. Oh dear. I think there might only have been two seed potatoes in this one, to be honest, because I've only I've only found two. Oh no, yeah. Another potato. People say, why do you grow potatoes in pots, not in the soil? Well, voila. <laughs> no, I think I put two potatoes in some and three potatoes in another. So this. Is only two seed potatoes because there's only two seed potatoes there. Let's find the other one in this lot. And it's not in there. So there we have it. First potatoes out of the pot outside, probably about 110 days or so. I would say there's five, five or six pounds there. And they could definitely have let, I could have definitely let them grow a little bit longer to make these a bit bigger than they probably might have been six or seven pounds. But uh, no, I'm extremely pleased with that. So there you go. Right, we'll get on, do some cob, uh, cabbages now, collies, sorry, cauliflowers, and see what they're like. Well, right then, folks, continuing on with this harvesting theme. The only way that you can just see there's a cauliflower there, looks ready, doesn't look particularly big, but I'd rather just eat the whole lot in one meal than let it grow too big. And in this weather, it's probably just going to blow because it's going to get stupidly hot. So we'll just try and get that, get that out. I'll try and get it out without opening up the cage too much because I want to keep the butterflies out. I'll try and just snap her off. I'll twist it off. There we go. And then we shall reveal all. Turn this round. Can't see a thing. Right. Like I said, not monstrous. But, better than nothing. And like I said, the curds do look like they're starting to open, so it probably would have started to blow. But it's enough for a meal, and that's all that matters, isn't it? Looks nice and healthy, nice and white. So that's the old first cauliflower cut chopped off. Right then, folks, yet more harvestage. I am always guilty of letting courgettes grow way too big. I mean, 
should really take them at that size for me. But you always leave them like this. That's a bit rotten on the end. Some right shapes. Some funny old shapes. And I'm pretty sure this one here was a double one. There you go, look at that. A twin mar a twin courgette. It's when you get a, a mega bloom of two flowers and they sort of just merge into one. I'll cut these off anyway. I think that's about it. Oh no, there's another one there. Rather, like I said, take them small and you don't get sick of them. So that's not too bad. Good old harvest of <laughs> the world's most boring vegetable. So I'm starting to get the first few little cobra climbing French beans. There'll be millions more to come. Like I said, there's not a lot yet because they're not into full swing, but uh, I'll just take a few whenever I find so. But again, you can take these small, but the best thing about cobra is if they do get a bit big, they don't get woody or tough. They just stay nice and tender and juicy. And you won't believe the crop you get off cobra, so. I've only got six plants in this little bit and it'll be more than enough for us lot and they like they get a bit camouflaged like I said you get absolutely tons but it's not quite started into its full they're just a few at the bottom now but like I said that's what you can expect once it gets into full production mode you probably get about a pound of these every single day like that so you can't go wrong with them they're absolutely fantastic variety Never seem to have any problems. A few starting further up. And then, you just love it. So yeah. Once you start looking, you get your eye in and you just find more and more. So plenty of plenty of beans come in and will be coming later on. So on to the peas. Got my patented pea picking pouch on. These are Hearst Green Shaft. For me the best variety of peas ever. Big long pods. Let's try and shell one of these just to show you. As you know, I'm not very dexterous. Dexterous. Usually get 10 peas in a pod. Nine to ten. Come on, open up. I forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. I didn't lie, did I? And they're lovely. They're absolutely brilliant pea. grow about what three feet tall and you can plant the I plant these in the gutters really really close together and it doesn't seem to matter you just get more peas it's not like they get leggier and leggier and, and the poorer crop you just seem to get more and more peas the, close, the more you plant so I see these people pick it growing the peas like six inches apart I think you're only going to get about a meal off a row I mean I can get a a meal off about two feet of this just by getting them really close together so we'll pick a few of these i've already picked a carrier bag full the other night probably about another two or three pickings and i've weighed what did i get we got three and a half pound the other night so we'll see what we get today i might do a running total this year oh i see what we get but as you can see they're just prolific absolutely prolific so there we go folks these are four litre pots there's probably about seven litres of peas there getting on for two gallon and you wouldn't even think i've picked any judging by how many there are left on so good old hearse green shaft fantastic crop as usual well there we go folks that's today's little harvest not too bad must be six seven pound of spud little cauliflower a few onions few courgettes handful of peas, beans sorry, and a good old dose of peas, so pretty good, pretty pleased with that, so that's about it folks, have a good one and I'll see you later.